right, guys, I've got my uh, kayak out today. I um, just wanted to kind of do a little review of it, I guess. Um, this is a 2017 version of the Jackson Kusa HD. Um, we bought it brand new last year at a Alpine shop in O'Fallon, Illinois. Um, and we've just, it was my first kayak, really, so... Um, I've just kind of fallen in love with it. Um, um, we'll just start up here at the front. It's got these solid plastic handles. Um, I know I've, I've heard some people say that the, the ropes kind of weathered over time and, and broke or popped off, so I'm pretty impressed with the construction there. Then we'll go to the lid here. It's got a paddle slide there, and it's held down by two, two straps here. And I've, I've had this thing camping, and it holds a crazy amount of gear. Anyway, that storage goes all the way underneath the seat to the back. And, I mean, you can hold as many rods as, I guess, you want to untangle, maybe. But I've had, you know, a couple down each side, so. And then when we go camping, there's just, I mean, there, you can see there's a little bit of, like, moisture in here but I wouldn't call it water I mean it's been rained on I don't know how many times and I don't think they advertise this as waterproof but it's been rained on several times and there's not I mean there's a couple of drops in here but it does a very nice job of keeping the water out it's also lockable and they sell a solar panel that goes up here but I didn't I guess to kind of keep your GoPro batteries recharged and and I bought these extra but this kind of keeps my cooler strapped in whenever we're floating down the river when I'm fishing I don't really have room for a whole lot up here but then we've got the stand up sit down assist strap there's a little dry hatch there now that is not, I mean it's kind of water resistant, but if you flip over that's probably going to get a little more in it than what you want. And those two little things are for uh, leaders, like if you want to tie leaders on, you can kind of tie your, uh, put your string inside there, kind of run it up through the holes there. And I believe that's... That's for a cup holder, and then I know that's for like a battery for a fish finder. Came with two of these rod holders. The other one can't find right this minute, but these are pretty sturdy here. The footrests are adjustable. It's got a nice uh, foam bottom in it to kind of cut down on the noise. It came with this cup holder. It did not come with the Chaos Paddler's uh, sticker. You have to subscribe to his YouTube channel to get one of those. I bought this extra to hold my paddle. See there's room underneath the seat to store tackle while you're out on the water. This seat is its kind of the big selling point. Um, it's got a Thermarest uh, self-inflating lumbar pillow. And then here there's two, one on each side here to put tackle in. And it came with one of those, I just don't have it on here. And these little straps here, um, I don't have a fishing pole with me right now and I don't hardly use this unless I'm going down the river, but it's got... Uh, Put your rod tips in there so when you crash into a tree you don't snap your rod tips off and that just helps hold the reel down it's also i showed you guys here where that rod goes through there but it's also got room for one more rod just that little gap there kind of supports another rod it's got one of those on each side and then the uh, the butt of the rod sits in between on each side of that strap there. 
Keep my anchor underneath there. Got my net here with the pool noodle on it in case it falls in the water. These are on here. I have a milk crate, but I haven't uh, haven't quite got it finished yet. But these are to hold my hold my poles. And this seat, it's got four positions. It's got one low, one high, two low, and two high. And the way I heard it, you know, if the lower, if you want to be more stable, kind of get down in the bottom. If you want to, you want to set a little higher in the water, which I prefer. Uh, and then you've got, you know, forward and back. Forward helps kind of plane it out more. Um, if you're trying to, you know, I guess go across flat water for speed. You know, the back's going to raise your nose up a little bit for some more maneuverability. It's got your two rod holders here, one on each side. Um, little well area back here. I keep my milk crate there normally, but I'm, I'm working on a new one. And you come to the back, and it's got some more storage. A little bit smaller opening back here, but... Um, down in there here's the uh, there's my pliers I try to keep strapped on there at all times there's my paddle leash I don't use as often as I should, but it'll cost me one of these days. It also came with uh, the fish grip. And then this I put on here extra, but I mean it was designed to have it. It's a dog leash and it puts this chain on here. You kind of drop that down in the water. Uh, it just helps you kind of coast. And up here it this one came mounted on it. Uh, it's a GoPro mount, obviously. Um, that one over there, I installed. There's my... I bought a Bending Branches Angler Paddle. And that little hooks came in handy a few times, but... You just kind of slide your... Slide your paddle up underneath there if you catch a fish. Uh, comes in pretty handy. And I just kind of put this on here, and I don't know... You can kind of do it either way, I guess, whatever whatever works for you. And the seat does, uh, I didn't show this earlier, but that strap kind of, it's adjustable. Like So it when it's sucked down, it's sucked down, it stays on. I've had it tipped upside down in current several times, and the seat has never came off. It also came with the uh, line cutters, which is really handy. That's a uh, pretty nice little invention. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Um, if you guys have any questions about it, uh, leave me a comment below, and we'll be pretty good about answering questions. It may take a day or so, but um, I just it was a little little pricey, but uh, I, I wanted to make sure I got a hold of the right one for me and my size, and uh, I, I think I'll have it for quite a while. So I didn't mind spending the money on it. Um, pretty big fella and I stand up in it and fish um, I don't stand up a lot but I, I can so anyway that's it uh, that's the Jackson Kusa HD 2017 I'm sure they've got a new one out with some some more upgrades but uh, I'm not not in a hurry to get get rid of this one it's done me pretty well I've had a lot of fun in it um, thanks for watching guys uh, stay tuned for the next video